Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about Man Whitney U test, which is used for ordinal or skewed continuous data. We can use Man Whitney U test if we have two groups of unpacked data. Now let us take a look at an example to understand this Man Whitney U test. You are comparing a new miracle pain reliever with placebo in patients with headache. Patients in each group are asked to rate their pain on a scale of 0 to 10, 1 hour after taking the drug or placebo. Their pain scores were as follows. Group A has the value of 5 patients and Group B has the value of 6 patients. This clearly shows that the data are unpaired. Our null hypothesis is that there is no difference in pain scores between the two groups. And our alternative hypothesis is that there is a difference in pain scores between the two groups. Now we have to rank the values from the smallest value to the largest value. Our smallest value is 1, next 2 and when it comes to 6, there are 2 values that has 6. So we take the mean for it and mark it as 6.5 and following 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. We usually take our alpha value as 0 0.05 and Degrees of freedom is not applicable in the case of man whitney U test. To calculate our critical U value, we have to take the size of the largest group and the size of our other group and equate it. In our case, it's 6 and 5 and we get our critical value as 3. The condition is that if our critical value is less than or equal to 3, then we have to reject our null hypothesis. To calculate the U static, we have to use the sum of the two groups. Group A U static equal to rank sum minus half of the pain scores in the group times the number of pain scores plus 1, which gives us 29.5 for group A and 0.5 for group B. Now we have to compare these two rank values and we have to use the smaller one which is 0.5. Since the U static is less than or equal to the critical value of 3, the null hypothesis is rejected and there is a statistical difference between the two groups. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who are preparing for this exam and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.